Hey guys, Aaron here from Back to Basics Wargaming Products. Just with a quick video on how to put together our MDF movement trays. Uh, this will cover everything from just plain MDF trays uh, up to and including the MagFlex system, which has been quite popular over the last year or so since we've been doing them. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm doing a 20mm based movement tray uh, in a 5x4 configuration, 5 being the front rank and 4 the depth. If you're on our website and looking for trays, start by the size of the base that you're using. So I'd be looking at 20mm movement trays and use the pull down menu to find a 5x4 rank because that's the tray I'm looking for. Uh, to get things started, I'm just going to focus on the MDF itself. So I'm just going to put aside the MagFlex stuff for now and the magnets. Uh, let's have a look at the tray. Um, the tray, of course, uh, has the base itself, uh, the front lip and the two sides which have been miter cut. Uh, to join up on the extreme front corners. Uh, to get things started, I'll put my sides out of the way. I'm just going to glue down my front uh, lip on the front of this tray. PVA wood glue. Reason being it gives you ample working time. Uh, has a great bond for MDF. You will uh, be struggling to pull it apart. And. Uh, yeah, the main thing being working time. You want to use super glue, that's cool, but uh, you don't have much working time with super glue. So, PVA wood glue. It's going to move around a little bit until I get it into position. Push it down. Squeeze out a little bit of glue. I've got to make sure that the front of this lip is flush with the front of the tray itself. Wipe away any excess glue. since you've pushed it out. Again, I've still got working time on this tray. You also want to wipe away any excess glue on the inside of that lip. You don't want your miniatures uh, being pushed out of formation because you've got uh, dried beads of glue on the inside of that lip. So make it nice and clean. Again, just make sure that that front lip is nice and flush. And you've also got to look at your mitered corners and make sure they're on the extreme outsides corners of the tray. Okay, so that's pretty much in place and the glue is actually starting to dry already, which is pretty good. Um, if you're finding your glue is not taking, sorry, is taking a while to dry, just set it aside and move on to your next tray. And come back to it in a moment. I can keep going. I'm going to put on one side uh, I need to look for uh, a mitre joint at the front, uh, pulls up nice and tight, flush on the outside and then you'll also find that it will be flush at the back, no overhang and, and no undercut. So I'm going to run another bead of glue down that side. Use the edge of the tray itself to run your bottle along, keeps it nice and straight, saves you trying to freehand glue all over the place. Place that piece on. Put it down with pressure, squeeze that glue out. Keep that paper towel handy. While sort of holding it in place, wipe away your excess. Yep. Again, still got a bit of working time while the glue starts to set. Double check my outside edge. My miters nice and tight. My miters aren't coming out, sticking out the edge of the tray. And again, while you've got that downward pressure, wipe the inside of that tray clean. Again, so our rank and file is going to pull up nice and neatly. Don't want models leaning over. Not the point of the tray system. Okay, so that one's pretty much in place all cleaned up, nice and flush. Before I go ahead and glue the third uh, piece on, the second side, um, anyone that's building uh, their own movement trays should uh, pretty much do a test fit. With whatever bases you're going to put on the tray, whether they be plastic, any of our resin types, or any of our MDF cut stuff, uh, we do the packages uh, with magnets, magflex material, laser cut bases, um, ready to go. Whatever base you're going to use, do a test run. So for the, this example I'm using five plastic bases. I'm just going to run it across the front rank. Putting them in, just so they're touching. 
The reason I'm doing this is so I can confirm when I put my third side on, one, it's going to fit, I have no doubt about that, but um, I've actually got, I'm not sure if you're picking that up on camera, but I've got about one mil to maybe down to half a mil gap on the end of that base up to the inside of the lip. Just so I know that I've got a comfortable fit inside that tray. I'm not gonna to have to wedge bases in there. Um, not, not what the movement tray is designed for. So I've got a comfortable fit. I've got a little bit of room. That's great. I can go ahead with that. Pull those bases out of there. Get them out of the way for now. And go ahead with that third side. Run that glue down that edge. Same thing as the other side. Make sure our mitre pulls up nicely in the corner. Downward pressure. Making sure we're flush on that front edge. Again, if you do move any of the sides of the tray, it means your glue is still trying to dry. You've still got some working time. Just go back and put them back in the right position again. There's no rush. Take your time. Just gonna make sure that's flush on the outside. Get it as neat as possible. And again, one more time uh, on the inside of that lip. Clean up any glue. We don't want that getting in the way. So if you're doing just plain MDF trays, uh, that's about the end of the video for you guys. Um, we're pretty much finished there. Set that aside for about an hour or so. Let it dry, let the glue really bond nice and hard, and come back to it and detail it. And you're good to go. Uh, from here on, we're going to look at the two different materials we use on the inside of the tray. We've got the uh, magnetic system and the mag flex. Magnetic system is magnetic rubber. Um, it has polarization. Um, so you really only want to use this with uh, metal bases that are, attract a magnetic force or plastic bases that you've glued uh, washers underneath or um, yeah, that type of thing. So it's going to attract to the magnet material is going to do the work, pull the washer or the metal base up tight. And you can slide them around wherever you need them to be on the particular tray. That's the magnetic one. Uh, this video I'm going to continue on with the mag flex. Uh, the mag flex material, the kits come with the, the magnets uh, that get glued underneath the bases. The MagFlex material itself is not magnetized, but it is indeed flexible metal. Uh, both of them are adhesive backed, so we're gonna be able to get that to stick straight to our tray. Uh, and both materials are cut slightly smaller than the inside measurements of the tray. We, uh, there's no need for the material to butt up hard against the inside edges. You risk yourself having um, overlap, and it just, just gets messy. So we've cut it a mil short. Gives you a little bit of tolerance to move that uh, metal where you need it inside the tray. I'm going to set the magnets down for now. When it comes to putting the mag flex in, I prefer to start up hard against the front inside lip and roll it backwards and glue to the back of the tray. So take that magnetic, uh, sorry, take the adhesive backing off to reveal the sticky side. Again, push that edge up hard against the inside of the lip. Let it drop down into the tray. Check you've got a little bit of gap side to side. Then roll it down backwards. Now I've probably been a bit too far to one side so I can pull it out and start again. Give a little bit of tolerance left and right. There we go, now I can roll that down. I've got about half a mil each side, so it's allowed me to roll it down without getting caught up on the edges of my tray. Stick that down. The glue on the back of these sheets is quite strong, not immediately. You do get some, uh, some pullback uh, to realign, but once that's been sitting on that MDF for a, a couple of hours, you'll be struggling to pull that uh, mag flex away. Just use a base to run around the inside edge. That'll make sure it's pushed down right into the corners behind the lip and uh, yeah all down ready to go so if you're using the magnetic material you use exactly the same technique and you're ready to go you can go and put your uh, metal based figures on that tray uh, people that are using plastic bases and the magnets it's just a simple case of gluing a magnet under your base 
I've got one here I've done before. That's just going to click anywhere, not coming off in a hurry. Uh, no polar zones like the magnetic material. Again, it's just metal. The magnet underneath the base is doing the work. So I can push that to a front rank, corner, sides, anywhere in the middle, back, wherever I, I please to put that particular miniature. Um, so that's pretty much it. That, that's the assembly of the tray. Glue your magnets under the bases and away you go. You don't have to worry about polarity with the magnets, either positive or negative. They both stick to the metal. It's not a problem. Um, with the kits themselves and the amount of magnets you get, 20 mil bases and the 25 mil, one magnet per base. Cavalry, 50 by 25s, you get two magnets per base. And the 40 and 50 larger uh, monster style bases, we give four magnets per base. We realize the bigger the, the base, the bigger the figure, needs a little bit more security in, in the tray. With that being said, uh, one magnet per base on a lot of the standard plastic uh, regiment kits that are out there at the moment is fine. Um, if you start doing some conversion work or you've actually got metal figures or metal accessories that are making your figures top heavy, uh, standard bearers and things like that really start to want to lean over in particular directions and one magnet might not suit, pick yourself up some more 3 mil by 2 mil round magnets available in the magnetic section of our store online. Um, and assign a couple more magnets per base for those particular figures. So if you've got something that's leaning forward, you may want to put two magnets at the back um, or to the side if he's trying to lean over sideways, standard bearers and things like that, to really secure him to the base, yet still be um, gentle enough that you can pick up your figures and remove them from their trays. So that's about it guys. Um, MDF, magnetic and magflex systems, uh, all pretty much home and hosed. Uh, happy gaming and uh, hope all your movement trays are solid. Enjoy. Bye for now.